We've done some measurement on some fixturing and uh, our client has dialed in these fixtures before they are ready to ship off to their client. But one of the criteria on the drawing of this fixture is right down here. It is the flatness of our datum Z. We've got a flatness, GD and T call out a flatness here at 50 microns and we're calling that our datum Z. Well, I've got 4.0 that I've done this analysis in, so I'll fire that SAT file up. You can kind of see I've got a bunch of measured geometry in there, and my alignment is already set up to their, uh, to their datums. But now notice here, under Review Features, one of the first things that I've done is I've measured that datum Z plane. I'll click on that a second. And I'm not showing all of the X and the Y and the Z or any other detail. I'm just showing the form of that plane. It was a measured plane and there's 12 points on there. Um, but the form, what it's actually doing is it's taking those 12 points and it's best fitting a plane through all of those points. And it's giving me um, the min and the max around that, that plane. That's what the form is. But now in GD and T, under this pull down menu here, if I wanted to show flatness, I would highlight this icon here, and then it brings up this dialog box here. Now on my drawing, if you remember, I've got a criteria on there of 50 microns. That's pretty doggone tight for that flatness there. But what I would do is I would put that right into my dialog box, 0.05, and then the feature that I measured was my datum Z plane. And then when I say OK to that, what I've got is this dialog box that comes up here for the results. I've got the, um, the tolerance at 50 microns. Here's the deviation from those 12 points. I had 29 microns, so I don't have anything out of tolerance. And what it's saying is that the datum Z plane is what we tested for this flatness. Um, also, this is kind of a nice feature too. Um, Cam2 will put the, if it is a datum, it will say what its datum feature is here. I like to name that datum feature, datum Z. I like to put that in the name. Uh, so that kind of makes some sense for that feature. But what I usually do too is I will rename the, uh, the label here and I will say that this is the flatness for datum Z. And then if you want to put some notes in there, you can do that here. Um, but that's, uh, that's the way that that result will come out with all of the criteria that we put in for that datum Z plane for flatness. So I'll say OK there. And if you want to see what that looks like up in the review features, of course, it's the last one that we've done. So that shows up up top here. And this is exactly what will show up on the report that we will hand off to our client. And again, it shows the GD&T symbol here for flatness, which is exactly what they're looking for since that shows up on their drawing here. Thank you.